Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Nerf speaking. The topic at hand that I'm going to discuss is going to be a little more serious because I am going to be talking about AI art and my feelings and opinions towards it because this is a conversation that needs to be had no matter the timing. So for those who may not be familiar with what it is, AI art is basically any form of artwork generally visual or in digital format created by artificial intelligence or an algorithm. This is a trend that surfaced more or less around the summer of last year and it gained an instant boom, mostly because of its variety, its ease, and how you do not need to go to art school or have any sort of artistic talent to make your own artwork. People have won awards using AI art, which mirrored the same controversy as the banana tape to a wall selling for thousands and thousands of dollars. There are comics being produced with AI, which by the way, they lost copyright protection, but I am jumping ahead. And companies, websites, and apps are embracing the change and creating their own AI art generators. But while people are raving about this new artistic form, most artists are boycotting against the assistance of AI generated art as a whole. And I have never seen something this major since the rise of NFTs, mainly due to the fact that it, it's been found and proven that AI art steals existing artworks so others can take the credit for something that an artist has already done. But some argue the contrary, that it's not theft because the AI does some alterations where it's no longer Jane or John Doe's art and it becomes its own creation. Popular sites like ArtStation have doubled down on supporting AI art, despite the massive opposition it faced among its users. DeviantArt took it to the next step by creating its own AI art generator. But then we have sites like Artful that have banned AI art at the start of January. Artists worldwide have created a movement called no to AI generated images in order to once and for all have it banned from social media and its use discontinued, varying from reasons that it is replacing artists to AI images stealing content made by other artists. People are now raising the question if AI art counts as copyright infringement and so far it is a yes. Now I have a few things I want to say but I am gonna go point by point before I share my final judgment. And I want to start by saying this. I know this is gonna sound controversial and maybe cause major disappointment for those who know me but I did engage in AI art. However, however, I never published nor claimed them as my own creation. In fact, it never crossed my mind that it was something that I would take seriously, much less own and stamp my name in it. Around August or September, I tried this website called Art Breather, which I assumed at the time that it was like an advanced form of character creation websites like Pit Crew or Rimaru Games when it was still alive. In there, I made headbutts of existing original characters, characters that were mined way before the existence of this site or AI art. Most of them are already drawn out by my hands, and two of them haven't been drawn as of yet. Now, I did this out of fun because I was like, oh, what if I do more realistic renditions on my OCs using this application? How would they look in this form? I treated this like a game rather than creative work because it just didn't seem like the latter to me. And I feel like it should be taken like that, leisure, something that you do for fun, but without claiming to be an original work of yours. Now, I can see why people may consider it art, because AI art technically falls between collage or appropriation art, mainly the latter. Appropriation art is basically that you grab an item or a pretty existing work and make changes to it, however little or big they are, and make it your own piece. A very common example is Andy Warhol's Campbell Soup Can series. The artist basically took the image of a product and made a series of pictures of it. Appropriation art was popular around the 1960s to 1980s and many argue that it's not considered real art because it falls under theft or unoriginality. But can it really be considered plagiarism or unoriginal? Heck, a super common example from a social media era is the Draw This In Your Style challenges. An artist creates an artwork and it is up to other artists to recreate it in their own fashion. The original work stays intact, but you have a series of copies of artworks that basically look similar, but they are considered originals too. It is not considered plagiarism because the original artist consents and encourages others to recreate their work, but while it is technically quote-unquote unoriginal, this is nothing new. 
There are hundreds of recreations of the Starry Night by Van Gogh, The Girl with the Pearl Earrings by Johannes Vermeer, and don't get me started with the Mona Lisa. Appropriation is almost everywhere. So one may be thinking, see, AI art is art because it falls under this thing called appropriation art and it's not considered plagiarism at all. Thanks to this video, I am going to argue against every person who tries to tell me otherwise. Or, oh my god, this art is supposed to AI generated images by comparing it to appropriation art. How disgusting. Hear me out because here's the thing about appropriation art. It is done by human hands and its main purpose is to recontextualize the concept of an existing artwork or object. They all have a meaning or emotion behind it. The Campbell Soup Can series is meant to instill a feeling, a sensation. In this case, by making you want to taste them. It's also a commentary against consumerism, fast foods, businesses, and commercialism. There's a context or message behind it. Appropriation art is meant to give a different take on said pre-existing artwork. What is AI art meant to convey? Look, I just made this image using artificial intelligence or artificial intelligence does art better than humans can. Why may art at all? Let the machines do it. The image may be physically different, but there's no change of contest unless we can argue that cynicism is the message. Probably someone might say, Oh, but those drawings in your style challenges don't get messages or feelings like real art. They're just meant to look pretty. Yes, they are meant to look pretty, but it is still art and they are special. Why? Because it's made by humans, by unique hands that spend hours or even days to create something that is meant to make you feel awe or bliss. And recreations of existing works are there to either reenact the same feelings we had when we see the original work or create new ones depending on how different it is. Some of them even change the contest entirely. This was pretty common in the Renaissance period with religious artworks. An artist from the medieval period would take a scene from the Bible and give their own take. And hundreds of years later, an artist will recreate their own version of the artwork or event. This also happened with Greek mythology. It is nothing new. After all, by that time, the more lifelike and accurate an artistic piece was, the better. Moreover, you can't claim AI art. Why? Because it is done by the AI, a semi-sentient entity. You are basically taking credit for something that you didn't exactly make. You just push the buttons and the AI made something for you. Just because someone made an artwork for you doesn't mean that you can claim ownership over it. It still belongs to the creator and you can't resell it as your own, even if said creator happens to be a machine or an algorithm. Once again, it's like playing a game like The Sims, where you make a character based on your imagination, share it, call it art, and then claim that you have all the rights to it because you made this character. No, it still belongs to The Sims games. Yes, the idea may be yours, but the product isn't. It's dumb, petty, and tacky to argue the contrary. It is appropriation turned plagiarism. AI art just feels like we're back to the NFT craze all over again. It's all fun and games until it's commercialized. I'm sorry, but AI art is not only lifeless, but it's blatant theft. I'm glad there are organizations that consider it a violation of one's intellectual property, but it is concerning how there are those who say that AI art is the future. The future looks concerning if that's the case. We're growing too comfortable. I don't want AIs to replace human creativity at all. It is not only insulting for artists to say that this is an improvement, but disheartening to those that have dedicated their lives into making art. I don't only hope that people are made aware of the dangers and damages of AI art, but that they don't let this die down, that we continue saying no to AI generated images, because we shouldn't allow this to be the subsequent norm in the artistic world. That being said, don't attack anyone who does or has done AI art. Being aggressive is not the way and is counterproductive. The most effective way to combat something is by not engaging with it and educating people. Just continue boycotting AI-generated images with a good purpose. Don't stop talking about it. Once again, I would have been fine if this was treated like a sort of character-generator game rather than an artistic form. It feels disingenuous to do that. It's taking credit from someone's own hard work and it should not be considered alright or the future. 
Don't make crime be the future, for goodness sake. Not to mention, artists already struggle with earning a place, a career, and respect among society. Why place more obstacles in their way? Why shun and look down upon it? You know that art basically runs the world and is what connects us to our sensible, imaginative, and even spiritual selves? Why can't folks realize that? Show more appreciation and esteem in what we do, just like every other job. These are my thoughts on the controversy. I know I glossed over a couple of aspects and I may have come across as hypocritical to say that this is wrong but then admit that I engaged in it. But I was ignorant at the time and by then the question of whether or not AI generated pictures came from stolen works did not rise until November or so. But thanks to people raising awareness on the subject, I know better and am against what AI art stands for. And if you once made AI art and then stopped for the same reason, then you should be proud of that. Editing nerve here, it's been months since I wrote this due to circumstances. I know that from here to April, AI generators have proliferated, especially with the rise of ChatGPT. But while it became such a popular medium for educational purposes, it got banned from Italy due to privacy concerns and spread of misinformation. People are calling for the need to regulate AI generators because of its rapid progression and misuse. And it seems like actions are being taken to implement rules on how AI should be used. I've also come across this article called Not So Fine Arts by The Guidance that says this and I quote, while this may seem like a new kind of art form that is taking the internet by storm, AI-generated art is not new at all. In particular, one of the earliest generators of AI art was developed in the 1960s and was called Aaron. The creator of the program intended for Aaron to be autonomous and produce realistic work. Since then, artificial intelligence has evolved so much that it has been able to imitate photos, videos, graphics, and various other art forms. To do this, artificial intelligence takes elements from existing pieces of art, morphing them together to make a new original piece. Later on, it continues. Interestingly, AI art is not the first medium to be met with significant controversy. In the past, painters and artists denounced the invention of the camera, with famous poet and art critic Charles Baudelaire labeling his duty as a servant to the sciences and arts rather than an art form that expresses the imaginary and creative. Similar criticism has been fired at AI programs capable of creating art as counter arguments center around how these programs require little skill expression compared to contemporary art. However, unlike photography, AI art takes existing artworks and mesh it together to create a quote-unquote original piece. Nobody is safe from them and AI programs are essentially anti-artists, I paraphrase. Personally, I would like to see AIs be mediated and restricted, if not outright abandoned. In the case of art, it should be banned from art expositions and websites centered around art because it is used for the wrong reasons. An intellectual property right should never be given to AI-generated images. Artists' works have to be protected because for many of us, and like any other job, art is our livelihood. Anywho, that is all I had to share. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Stay safe and healthy and remember, your art is valuable. Don't let anyone or anything tell you otherwise. Just keep on creating and being your wonderful selves. Take care, everybody.